Wakey, wakey time, George. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on, wake up. Come on. Uh. Otherwise, I'll pour hot tea right down your ear. No. <laughs> uh, what did you say? Tea, George. And uh, crumpet. What? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. What's the time? 11 o'clock. Oh, you know I like to sleep late on Sunday. Oh, George. <laughs> Not today. It's a special day, George. It's our wedding anniversary. 24 years. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, George. <laughs> Wake up. I've got something for you. Oh, not now, Mildred. It's too early. Oh. <laughs> this. Oh, uh, what is it? It's something, George, that might make you a little more masculine. I'm not going back on them pills again. Oh, <laughs> Oh, gee. Oh, it's a wash name. It's a pipe. Yeah. And some tobacco. Oh, yeah. Ready rubbed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, very nice, I'm sure. So. Did you say 24 years? Yes, George. Oh, seems longer than that. Pass the sugar, will you? Uh, George, uh, I don't suppose you remember to buy me one, did you? I didn't know you wanted a pipe. Oh. <laughs> An anniversary present. Well, that's where you could be wrong, Mildred. For all you know, I may have bought you something. I may have put it in the wardrobe, nicely wrapped. Oh, George, did you? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> no, I, uh, I put it under the bed. Here. Oh, George, you did remember. Well, you talked about nothing else for the last six weeks. It's only a clock. Oh, it's a carriage. Oh, George, it's lovely. Yeah, it cost me ten quid, that did. Yeah. <laughs> Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> I got off a fellow in a pub, retired antique dealer. He was clearing out the last of his stock because he was emigrating. Yes, well... Oh, George, it's lovely. <laughs> you deserve a kiss. What? Mm. Ow, oh, gold. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 300 miles of silence is enough. Let's have it. When you said winter holiday, I thought you meant skiing. Can't go skiing with golf clubs, Anne. It throws you off balance. <laughs> Tristram enjoyed himself. I mean, you enjoyed taking the flag out of the hole for me, didn't you? I'll be glad to get back to school. Well, I thought you'd like learning to play golf. Well, I might, if you didn't criticise. I'm standing all wrong, my grip's all wrong, I'm not holding my head properly. And that's just when I'm carrying your golf bag. <laughs> it was boring. You wouldn't let me dig holes in the sand. Certainly not. You did. <laughs> it's all right, the holiday's over. Let's talk about something more pleasant. Like the gas bill, the electricity bill, the rates. <laughs> I'll tell you what, soldier. Next year we'll do something you like. How do you feel about salmon fishing? Boring. <laughs> oh, Geoffrey. Good grief. We've been burglaring. <laughs> <laughs> mm. There you are, you see. Your daddy brought that for your mummy. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean, Mildred. It does give me a certain panache. <clears throat> Here, who does this remind you of? 13 years of Tory misrule. Mike Yarwood. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could get to like this. Of course, I'll still roll my own occasionally. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I did try a pipe before, Mildred, when I was younger. It got caught in a tube doorway at Oxford Circus. <clears throat> I never saw it again. Oh. <laughs> it suits you, George. Yeah. Well, apart from that, <coughs> it is better for your health. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, Mr. Four Mile next door sometimes smokes a pipe. Oh, uh, I see what this is all about. It's your middle class image, isn't it? Well, let me tell you, I could smoke one of these and still remain working class. Yes, I can see that, George. Oh, by the way, I think they're back from Scotland. I don't know. The wall's warm. I think they've turned the central heating on. <laughs> uh, George, 
Do you think you could puff at it gently? I mean, you're not trying to screen a convoy. I thought pipe smoke got women going. Well, even if it did, I couldn't find you. Zero, <laughs> zero. Oh, oh, no, it's true. I've seen it on the telly. Tell you, one whiff of this and they're chasing you down the street. Oh. Well, you open that window, they'll be near like flies. Oh, don't be ridiculous. George? Mm. There's a police car drawing up. Yeah, well, they may be needed. <laughs> but they're looking at this house. Hey? Have you paid the television licence? Of course I have. Years ago. Oh. <laughs> it's that dog. You haven't got a licence for her. Well, I didn't mean to, George, but... Yeah, well, they've probably been round with the detector van. Oh, no. It's all right. We're going up the four miles path. God, I wonder why. I mean, they never... Detector van? <laughs> Yes, they broke the glass and reached in. Don't know why they bothered. They could have forced that lock with a butterfly's wing. Well, I didn't expect criminals to come through the back garden. Can't they see the lawn's just been seeded? They're not all garden lovers, sir. Just as well, in a way. They might have nicked your greenhouse. We never used to have crime in this area. It's that, uh, it's that new council estate. Really? It's probably in Aladdin's cave down there. Search the houses. Uh, do you know where it is? Just down the road from... I do know it, sir. I live there. <laughs> oh, well, um, I'm not saying they're all criminals. Very broad-minded of you, sir. You got that, Mills? Keep an eye out for working-class fingerprints. Will do. <clears throat> well, I've checked through the kitchen, and the only thing missing there is an egg whisk. Looks like the work of the omelette gang. But I may have lent, I may have lent that to our next-door neighbour. Oh, yes, you don't happen to know if they've been turned over as well, do you? Shouldn't think so. They haven't got anything worth stealing. <laughs> Still, it might be worth talking to them. I've never found it so. <laughs> Not your sort, eh, sir? More your council estate type, no doubt. <laughs> I'd better have a word, though. Meanwhile, if you could uh, complete your list of what's missing, madam. That man is obsessed with class. <laughs> Hello, who have we got here then? I'm a cop from the 47th precinct. Ah, a colleague. Perhaps you can assist me on this case. We'll catch the criminals together, eh? All right, but I'm not allowed to cross the road. Well, I'll do that part. What's the first thing we should do, Sergeant? Captain. Captain. Well, I think we should jump in the car and chase after them with a the siren going. Right. Then you can leap out and arrest them single-handed. How's that? Actually, I'm not really a policeman. <laughs> oh, well, it's nice pretending, though, isn't it? You mean you're not really a policeman either? Uh. <laughs> no, I had to guess why the police are there, Mildred. Oh, it's probably a mistake, George. No, he's been up to something. I mean, I'm not one to make wild accusations, but did they ever catch all the train robbers? You ask yourself that, did you? <laughs> oh, 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 George! Oh, oh, George! Oh, oh. Really? <laughs> You're frightening the dog. <laughs> George? Oh. It's one of those policemen. They've come here. Well, just you remember, he's your dog. <laughs> oh. Good morning. Mrs. Roper, is it? Yes. Detective Sergeant Burke, CID. Could I have a word? Yeah. Yes, of course. Come in. Look, I mean, she's only just over six months old, and I mean, I have been meaning uh, to get a licence. Well, I don't deal with dog licences myself, madam. Oh. I'll leave that to the Chief Superintendent. <laughs> Oh, good. Uh, would you like to go in? That's it. And uh, uh, this is my husband, Mr. Roper. Oh, uh, yeah. how do you do? Morning, sir. Oh, God! <laughs> uh, yes. Um, uh, I believe you're acquainted with the Four Miles. Uh, yes. Oh, such a nice class of person. Quite. Um, uh, well, there's been a break in and entering. Oh, yeah, and you reckon he did it, eh? Yeah, well, it wouldn't surprise me that. No, <laughs> no, 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 sir, no. Into their premises. Oh, it... oh what, you mean they've been burgled? Oh. That's easy to go on winter holidays, wasn't it? George. Uh, <laughs> oh, do please sit down. 
Uh, I must apologise to my husband. It's his nervous reaction to any bad news. He, uh, yeah. laughs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's a shame, though, isn't it? I mean, they've got a lot of nice possessions next door, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, they did have, didn't they? <laughs> uh, yes. Um, I don't suppose you're missing anything, are you, madam? Well, I... Oh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, not us. No, no. Mm. Have you seen any strangers in the area recently? Strangers? Oh, yeah, come to think of it, there was one. Tall, thin fella, little moustache. Ah, oh, tall, thin... Little moustache, yeah. He went up their path next door. Did you notice the colour of his hair, sir? Well, that's a bit difficult. He had his helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, I'm not interested in my constable. Anybody else? Madam? Oh, no. No, I don't know anything about it at all. No, I haven't seen anybody, I haven't heard anybody, no, nothing at all. Will I be called to give evidence? I doubt it, madam. What a shock. I mean, poor Anne. Oh, I must go and have a word. Oh, unless you like me to uh, continue to help you with your inquiries. Continue? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, oh well, uh, excuse me. Now, sir, have you heard any unusual noises during the past few days? Oh, what you mean, like footprints, whispering, glass smashing, that sort of thing? Yes, sir. No, no, I haven't heard it. <laughs> Oh, it was such a shock, Anne. I mean, if there's anything at all I can do to help. Well, that's very kind of you, Mildred. Well, I can't get over the, the nerve of them. I mean, breaking in, rummaging around, turning the place upside down as if they were VAT inspectors. <laughs> it, have you lost much? Well, I lost a bit of jewellery, some earrings. Oh, oh and Geoffrey's best cufflinks and your electric razor. We'll never see any of it again. They sell it down in the market or in the pubs. The one thing that upset us, they took Geoffrey's mother's wedding present. An antique carriage clock. <coughs> <laughs> oh, <coughs> oh. <laughs> went down the wrong way. <laughs> Carriage clock. Hmm? It was insured for 150, but I think it was worth more. We'll never see it again. <coughs> Tell me something. How long do the police sort of, uh, well, keep a crime on their files if it's not solved? What sort of crime, sir? Stealing cigarette cards. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now, that depends. Um, was, the, was there any violence involved? Any, any GBH? Any shooters? Well, no, it's just that he, or she, nicked him from a school satchel, see, and it's been playing on his mind. Or hers. <laughs> mm. Did he, um, or uh, she, leave any clues? Well, only a note. The hooded terror strikes again. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I recall the case. Hey? Eh? <laughs> it was the one regret of Sir Robert Mark that he had to retire with that one unsolved. <laughs> George, I want a word with you. Uh, oh, you're still here. Uh, good. <laughs> Not for long, madam. I must be on my way. Oh, all right, I'll see you out. No, I won't. Um, <laughs> no, George will. George? Oh, oh, all right. Thank you for your help, madam. Hey, uh, you don't really remember the case, do you? What, the hooded terror and the cigarette cards? Oh, yes. For a long time, we suspected Ronald Biggs. <laughs> but what you've told me throws a new light on the matter. Goodbye, son. Oh, well, cheerio. Oh, and, um, don't leave the country without letting us know. <laughs> He knows all about you nicking those cigarette cards. What? <laughs> oh, George, we've got more important things. Now, this clock. Tell me about the man who sold it to you. Well, he was in a pub. I know, a retired antique dealer, but what did he look like? Well, a little fella with a twitch, cap and muffler. Needed a shave. He didn't have a bag marked swag, did he? <laughs> well, I don't think so. Oh, you think he may have dropped off the back of a lorry? Uh, no, George. I think he might have stolen it. Oh, well, that's the way of the world, isn't it, Mildred? <laughs> I mean, that price. <laughs> George, has it never crossed your mind who it might have been stolen from? Eh? Do you think there's much chance of getting any of it back? Possibly, madam. We're always recovering stolen property. Watches, jewellery, cigarette cards. <laughs> cigarette cards? I may have a lead on the hooded terror. What? Never mind. Thank you for your help, madam. We'll be in touch. Oh. Right, thanks. Bye. <laughs> I can't wait 
till Monday are the only boy in my class who's been burglared. Mm. Well, let's hope we get a house point for it. The class have been very good burglars. They didn't take my action, man. Well, I expect he fought them off. Well, there's one good thing about it. At least we were insured. I renewed the policy last month. At least I think I... Oh, good grief. <laughs> <sighs> I can't seem to keep it going, Mildred. Yes, that's always been your trouble, George. <laughs> Aren't you worried at all? Well, we don't know it's their clock. Oh, look, Anne described it to me. Theirs had a white face, Roman numerals. Ours had a white face, Roman numerals, a little handle on top. Theirs was stolen last week. You bought ours last week from some scruff in a pub. What do you mean ours? It's yours. But you bought it for me. I think I may have the answer, Mildred. What? I put less tobacco in the bowl. Oh, <laughs> sure. They will, they will have you for receiving stolen goods. Oh, no, they wouldn't do that, would they? Well, how would they find out? I'll tell them unless you start taking this thing seriously. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll get rid of it. How's that? We'll give it to your mother for Christmas. You do that, wouldn't you? Or well, if she gets caught, she can plead insanity. They believe her. <laughs> I mean, it's a family heirloom, George. We've, we've got to give it back to the Four Miles. Oh, yeah, then they get done for receiving. It belongs to them. <laughs> no, we've, we've got to take it back tomorrow, George. We've got to tell them, quite frankly, that you bought it for a fraction of its value from a complete stranger in a pub. I don't even believe it myself. Well, why don't we leave it on their doorstep? Oh, lovely, yeah. Then it'll end up on the milkman's mantelpiece. <laughs> Couldn't we sneak it back without them noticing? Oh, George, really? That is the most ridiculous... Oh. <laughs> Sit down, Charles. Thanks. Do you know, for a dreadful moment yesterday, I thought that I hadn't renewed the policy. No such luck, I'm afraid. <clears throat> You're fully covered for everything by earthquakes. I suppose it was a burglary, not an earthquake. Mm, definitely. Here's the list. It's, uh... Probably too early for a sherry. Yeah, probably. Medium or dry? Dry, please. Mm. <laughs> uh, you've got it quite lightly. Uh, you're claiming 20 pounds for an electric razor? It had great sentimental value. Our money has great sentimental value, too. <laughs> they might agree to 15. Oh, well. That's twice what I paid for it. Right. <laughs> Only joking. Uh, thank you. <laughs> ah, yes, 12 sherry glasses. Mm. <laughs> Great, so. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, that may be Anne. Excuse me. All right. Hello, Mr. Fourmile. It's, uh, it's me, Mildred, uh, from next door. And um, this is my husband. Uh, George. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Roper. Yes. What can I do for you? Uh, well, uh, George thought he'd ought to call round uh, and uh, express his sympathy about what's happened, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's right. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, yes, it could have been worse. Oh, yeah, it could have been ours. Quite. <laughs> Is that all? Uh, no. Uh, he felt that... Uh, George felt that he ought to come round and express his sympathy to Anne as well. Your wife. She's not in. Oh, good. Uh, uh, George, um... <laughs> Do you think we might come in and wait? What? Oh, yes, yes, I suppose so. Oh, thank you. Uh, do you need me, Mildred? Yes, I do. Um, will she be long? Oh, I shouldn't think so. She's just gone down to the police station. <laughs> uh, Charles, uh, this is, um, uh, uh, Neighbours. No. Uh, Charles Newman of the Thank Scottish you. Widows. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's an insurance company. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sit down, George. Mm. Sit. You don't mind if we carry on? Good. Uh, that's an informed thing, I'm afraid, Geoffrey. Rather a bore. But if you could copy your list into um, this column, mm -hmm. with your estimate of the value on the right there. That's it. <laughs> Electric razor, £15. Pounds. Uh, sherry glasses, we ought to get away with that valuation. Cufflinks. Solid gold, obviously. <laughs> oh, go on, that's right. This next one's a bit tricky. Yeah, hard to put a value on it. Ah, the carriage clock. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was stretching my legs. <laughs> well, it, it is an antique. Our mother had it valued at £150. That was a few years ago. <laughs> right, well, allowing for inflation, shall we say... Well, uh, I don't think we will wait for Anne. What? No, 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 sit down. She said we'd be back by 12. Ah. I <laughs> can't stay too long myself. Is that it? the right time? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe a bit fast, but... Good heavens. Yeah, I don't think we will wait. What on earth is this doing here? Oh, oh isn't it 
strange how something can be right under your nose and you don't, you, you just don't see it. Jeffrey, marvellous news. Oh, hello, Mildred, Mr. Roper. Hello. Charles. Hello, Anne. This will please you too. We've got some of our stuff back. We oh. have? Mm. They caught two teenagers, public school boys from the private estate. Ah. <laughs> Sergeant Burke said be sure and tell you that. We've got your cufflinks, my earrings, your electric razor. Oh, it's just like Christmas. <laughs> and best of all, your mother's clock. Uh. What? Hi. Oh, yes, you're quite right. It is a fine piece. Yeah, but just a minute. Hang on a minute. Isn't that, isn't that your clock? What this? Good Lord, no, I don't buy rubbish like this. Rubbish? Oh, yes, made in Hong Kong. Cost about a fiver down the market. A fiver? Well, it cost me ten. It's yours? Yeah. Well, yes, you see, well, I brought it round because, well, I thought you might like to borrow it, seeing as you've lost yours, but obviously you wouldn't want to. I mean, not cheap Hong Kong rubbish like that. Give me that. Excuse us. Neighbours. And take that filthy thing out of your mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs>